president of the Arewa Youth Consultative Forum, Alaji Shetima Yerima, has challenged that the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Namdekano, is behind the arrest and probe of Ibrahim Magu, suspended EFCC chairman. Savannah News reports. According to him, Namdekano made the move because Magu refused to release Ulisa Mitu after the ultimatum he gave him expired. Here is what he said. I have said it severally that Namdekano is the problem of this country because Magu failed to release Ulisa Mitu after the 14 days ultimatum he gave. That is why he took his name to the international community that Magu is also corrupt and US and UK forced Nigeria to arrest him. To arrest Magu. But why is same Kano yet to expose his fellow Igbo's corrupt politicians? He's from Abia State, same place their former governor, T.A. Oji, embezzled over 550 billion naira. He has not said anything, but if it is to talk bad of we northerners, he will be fast to do it. Recall that I pope in a statement by its media and publicity secretary. Ima Powerful alleged that a particular section of the country sees Nigeria as a permanent oil feed and private estate assigned to them by the British government in 1960. IPOP said the arrest, detention and subsequent suspension of Magu is another prophecy of Mazin Namdekano fulfilled shortly after he made it. IPOP wonder why an agency formed by former President Ulushe Gombasanjo has never been heard by any other person except northerners who allegedly run it as a private estate okay <clears throat> so is it not a that means i don't know the correlation between what a yorima shesima is saying is that in Amdekano is the reason why magu was arrested and suspended then how do we not relate it with what a, this man has been talking about What's this man's name? The AGF, Attorney General of the Federation, Malami. Is the is Malami that has been is, has been championing this whole thing? So I don't understand. In my opinion, I don't understand the relationship or the correlation between Namdekano now and uh, what uh, this man is saying uh, as to what the allegation being levied against Magu from Malami. And both of them have been going back and forth because as Malami was exposing Magu, Magu himself has been exposing him, this and this and this and that. So I don't understand. So what he's trying to say is that uh, this man has been going to the international community, US and UK. So they are the one that forced Nigeria government to do what? To see they should arrest this man. And so, you know, this is the second time they are confirming that Namdi Kanu has been reaching out to these people. And some people will tell you that, oh, Namdi Kanu is dead, Namdi Kanu is this, Namdi Kanu is that, Namdi Kanu has been deceiving the people. So that means Namdi Kanu is really powerful. If he could initiate a Magus arrest, that means say, he's so, so powerful that they will now, because of a, because Namdi Kanu to report this Magu to them, then they have to force Nigerian government to do the whatever, to do the arrest and suspend him. In my opinion, I've not seen any correlation. Maybe he knows what he's talking about, but that's the but trace the fact that they acknowledge the fact that this man has been meeting who and who, you know, in this uh, 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 in this con in this world, Abby, the the leaders of this world, you know, the the so called leaders, who and who. So it's a confirmation. You know, the first time it was a uh, Gaba Shehu that said it. Oh, Namdekano has been doing this and that, and say Namdekano is the problem of a. Uh, of a uh, what is it called of nigeria and also if uh, that is what we are always talking about if somebody is accused of stealing and all of that let the person go and answer his name and defend himself get your lawyer and defend yourself so now there's a, a new twist now that is now because is now the cause of a uh, magus a uh, ordeal and travel uh, that's serious so that means now the canoe is a uh, powerful for him to be going to the to the UK and to the US. I don't know why he, he just discovered that. I don't understand. But of course, it's a confirmation that uh, most uh, most of this movement that this man has been making, you know, uh, they are confirming that the you know it is true. But 
Meanwhile, they say this guy is a terrorist. And like I've been saying, you talk about a Shikawu. So can Shikawu go and meet these people, the person that you, you are calling, you know, being proscribed? Have you ever wondered that this same person is meeting all these uh, countries, all these uh, uh, world top countries? He's still meeting with them. Can Shikawu go and meet them? You see the hypocrisy we are talking about. This is the same person you are calling a terrorist. If you are looking for another name to proscribe, it would have been a different thing. And I think that's what uh, this man has called all the Igbo nations and Igbo uh, people and the leaders and the politicians to come together that the politician must do something to um, proscribe them because it does not make sense. Even a layman, you see this man moving from places to places and you're telling us, is this, can it be compared to Shikawu? Honestly, that is what I don't get. If you talk, some people will be telling you what is not. You know, these are the things that we need to talk about. Oh, the next thing, oh, uh, it's a fugitive, oh, it's a runaway, it's a this and this and this and that. But there are issues on ground that you need to talk about. Really, it's just early, but of course we know what their plans are, but if really you are still going to be talking that this guy is this, is that, you can't be talking that way and you expect people to just believe you and just take it just like that. It does not work that way. If really is a terrorist, then why is he moving from places to places without being uh, harassed, unhindered? You know, it's just all about uh, hypocrisy and uh, how would I see put it and, you know, hypocrisy of the highest order. Well, truly, Namdi Kano is really destroying Nigeria with the truth. What concerns Namdi on this? I don't know. I don't know. I tire out. I knew all along that this guy is sick and uncoordinated, uncivilized Yerima with no followers. Hmm. Okay, thanks for making him look more fearful and powerful. Mr. Man, if you are as corrupt as Magu, go ahead and defend him. But remember to consult your followers before you speak as their leader. Hmm. So Yoruba, open at the ESC, so are you now saying that Magu is not corrupt? Oganamdi no get link with the international community and that is the reason why he never divide Nigeria. Okay, lo okay, stop uh, crying. It is just the beginning, okay? Better let Nigeria do as Namdi said. Glory be to God that this uh, recognition uh, recognizes the importance of uh, Namdi Kano and its worth in Nigeria and globally. When issues are being attended to, please stop this uh, nonsense about tribe. You have been the problem of this country. We need a serious government that we do away with your type. Another savior. This Yerima should just keep quiet. Kudos to Namdi Kano. Hmm. Stand for the truth because the truth will always set you free. The truth will always set you free. And someone is saying, okay, thanks for even making him to be more powerful and be fearful again. I think you said that Namdi Kano is fleeing coward. Now, you understand that Kano and IPOP can convince US and UK to arrest and detain the chairman of almighty EFCC. Expect more from IPOP. Kudos to Namdi Kano for performing such a wonderful feat. Okay, you people should allow my brother to have peace. Please. Okay, you are not leading youth anymore. Go ahead with your politics. I know say people like you, we get sense day north. Uh, it's like this guy is, is onto something. So what you want is happening to, to Imago's table to be overlooked and we are fighting corruption. Everything has a payback time. In every matter, you always want to use your hatred and fear of the departure of the Igbos from Nigeria as a distraction to confuse some Nigerians. The secret has been known all along. So Namdi Kano is now directing the affairs of Nigeria. If Magu is not corrupt, nothing will happen to him. Leave Kano alone. Confusion everywhere. Shetima, why are the Igbos and I pop your sleepless night? You know that the agitation has widely been, you know, the known and we accepted. Yes, the agitation has opened uh, the northerners, elites, and have been deceiving many Nigerians. Why don't you canvass for the Igbos to go and have their own country without oil instead of this hatred with passion together with a deceit against a Biafrance? It will still be reasonable for more people uh, uh, arrest. Okay, it will still be responsible for more people's arrest. Hmm. Aren't you can you even hear yourself uh, to say these things that Namde Kano wrote to US and UK and he was arrested? That means he's 
very corrupt so keep quiet of course i don't even understand so what is not the work of malami okay malami has to prepare the whole thing and bring to the to the whole world so guys uh, let's hear your opinion concerning what a uh, yerima shetima has been you know reportedly said leave your comment below and let's have your take